What's going on guys? It's Bananas or Dumb here, and I'm back with episode 2 of how to make a Minecraft plugin. So, in this episode, we're going to be going over commands and permissions. So, what I did here is I changed everything to E1, and that's episode 1. Now this is E2, which is episode 2. So this is the same exact thing as we had last time, just I renamed this. Name of this does not matter at all. Do not rename this to E2. Keep it as what you have it as. I just wanted another one so I can, like, just in case I mess up on the episode, I don't have to go back through the code. And, just, yeah, okay, it's, it'll get complicated if I don't do it like this. For me, at least, is my third attempt doing this, so hopefully this time it's golden. So, what I want to do first is make a package for our command. So, I could put a command in this main class, but that's going to get really crowded really quick, so I'm going to make a new package here. And I'm going to add on to this dot command so i'll have all this in that that just command because that's not what i want i want it to be hierarchical whatever you say do a view menu package presentation it's right there it's easier than having like a million packages <laughs> so yes we're gonna make a new class here called mm, i don't know fix command uh command so fix is going to be the actual command the reason to have the word command is in case the command has any events that it has to like, um, <laughs> I can't think of a word right now, but it has to like check through or anything. So if I have that, I'll have like fix events, fix like chat, fit list, fix listeners, and just all of that. This will just be the command right here. So I'm gonna have this uh, like <laughs> implement. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, not listen. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting off track here thinking I have a million things. Implement, command, executor. Boom, there we go. I see fix command has a, I read under why we need to add the unimplemented method. So, we're going to change this to sender, change this to cmd, and just a label, and change this to arc. So, we can also delete this override and get rid of this to do. Oh, didn't we do that? Okay, so we can reference command sender as sender now, command to cmd, string as label, which we really don't use that, and then like a string, like an argument as arcs. So I'm gonna go ahead here and pretend I want a permission for my fix command. So I'm gonna do if uh, sender, which is the command sender has permission uh everything dot fix um then i'm gonna put a little squiggly brace right there and so if i go to my plugin that yml here i'm gonna go ahead here and make a couple new sections one commands another you know, one's per missions there's another way you could do the commands and not, i mean the permissions at least not the commands yet have the commands like this so it's gonna be the fix command. You have fix colon, and another two spaces. Description. What's gonna show up whenever you do the slash help command? Uh, fix a player. A player. And then for permission, I'm gonna do everything dot fix, which was this right here. So I'm gonna put a colon after that, and then oh, also up here, if I want to, I can also put usage. And then just slash and then oh my gosh so much failure slash command all right it's going to be usage okay so i'm gonna go ahead here and redo permissions so what you want to do is put permissions colon space two spaces everything dot fix enter two spaces description your description in there and then default now default you can have four things you can have true if you want everyone to have it false if you want no one to have it by default um op if you want ops to have it by default and not op if you don't want ops to have it by default but now we need to actually add everything so for the command what we need to do is if they have permission i'm gonna do if they do not have permission so i'm gonna put an exclamation mark there and i'm gonna do sender dot send message and then I'm gonna do chat color dot. Go ahead and make this bigger here. Chat color dot aqua. They have to add a plus and then quotes you. 
if I wanted to add another color for say, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this so it's easier. You oh, I have to add another plus in there. Plus that color dot, let's go with blue. Um do so if you see here, there's no spaces in there. So we want to put a space here. So there's a space in between you and do. So I just put a space over there because this right here is not a space. It just changes the chat color. Do I'll just put not have permission. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> I have permission. There we go. If I want to add more colors, just do plus chat color, then other quotes. And just, yeah, you get it. It just keeps going on like that if you want to do that. So... Now, what I want to do is go ahead and return true because it went through successfully and I didn't spell return right. Oh. Return true. So now, if they do have permission, it's going to skip right over this code here. I could put an else, but I don't want to do that because I just think it's easier to do this. So, what I'm going to do now is if args dot length equals zero so if there are no arguments at all just the command slash fix now args is what we reference up here the string args so if that is equal to zero if they have just the fix command i'm gonna want to send a message so sender dot send message at color dot aqua you do not get color dot Go with green. Have oh, have permission to do that. So I see you put the spaces there. I remember that space. Oh, not you don't have permission to do that. Uh, you do not have enough arguments. You need to do something like this. What I usually like doing is changing it to like a red color and then go in usage slash fix player. So we're gonna fix the said player and then we have to return true. Now if you type in a command, like if you type in slash fix and it tells you slash fix again, because you didn't return, you have to return, let's just send you back the message. So if args.lang equals one. So if there is an argument, so if we do slash fix bananas are down, it will, that's what argument number one is. So sender.send message uh, chat color dot aqua you fix at the space plus Args argument number zero. So it's argument zero is the first argument. Argument number one is the second. So it's just like taking the argument and subtracting one. So I still want to have the person's name a different color. So color dot red arg zero, and then I'll have chat color dot aqua and. A period in there for grammar and so you can say you fixed an aqua we gotta put one on to put a space before a period and it's gonna say the player's name in red and the period in aqua so but wait a second what if the player they typed in is not an actual player that's on the server or a player at all so if args zero equals null I'm going to do um, sender dot send message jet color dot red jet color dot ugh, I keep doing that jet color dot red um, your tar target is invalid so there you don't have a target so inside of here I want to return true and down here. I want to return through so after every, inside of every single statement you have to have a return so if there is if the player is null the target player 
then it's going to say target is valid. You know what? Actually, there's a better way to go about this. If I go player target equals, not player target equals, just one equals because you want to set the, the player target. Two equals mean getting it. If it equals that, one equals means set it to that. So it, I'm going to make it set bucket dot get server dot get player args zero. Now it's going to get that player whenever I type in target. So this is, it's, it's only depreciated because there's unique IDs now and it wants you to get the unique ID. But I want to say the actual player's name, not the unique ID. So if target is null, and you can see you're in target. Now I'm going to change this down here to target as well. Because I'm using argument zero. So now my target is that so now i can tell you what my target is but what if they put in too many arguments like slash fix bananas they have a space and then some other weird weird name you want to tell them they have too many arguments or you want to fix two people whichever one you want so i'm gonna go ahead and do and just tell them they have too many arguments so if args dot length is greater than one no that's less than <laughs> uh greater than one then what i want to do is say you do not you have way too many arguments here not way too many but you have too many arguments so i'm just gonna go ahead and return here so i have to do it oh i could spell return true there we go and now i want to send a message so sender dot send message chat color dot dark red this time um, you have too many, so now they have too many arguments. So that's what's going to happen if they have anything from two to infinity arguments. It's going to tell them they have too many arguments. So that is this right here. So that is the command done. But wait a second. I'm going to just press this warning because... I don't like it. Okay, so now what I want to do is tell the actual plugin where the command is because now it has no idea where anything is outside of the core file and the plugin file. That's all it knows, so we have to tell it exactly where it is. So I'm going to go ahead and do this all um, way so it doesn't clutter up the on enable. So I'm going to do register commands right there and then what i'm gonna do here is hover over it and create a method register command so i'm gonna go ahead and move this here down below the on disable so now what i want to do is get where the command is now what we want to do is get the command so get command and then the command you add in your plugin that well my line was fixed so i have that in quotations because it's a string and now I want to get the execute. I mean, set the executor. So set executor new new, and then we want to have your class name. So fix command. There we go. So now we have this. Now it knows exactly where our fix command is located. It's in the fix um, command class. Now here I'm gonna go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead here and start up my server. All right, so now that we're in the server, we can do slash fix. And it should tell us, yep, usage fix player. We didn't have enough arguments, but if you do slash fix bananas, oh man. Bananas are done. Then you fix, oh, that is not right. Okay, well, in, a, in the actual video itself, I'll have a fix for that. So that'll be already fixed for you. And I'll make sure to fix it whenever I'm done. So it just says their actual name. But now if I do bananas are dumb, bananas are dumb. Too many arguments. So if I do slash fix, a crap ton of arguments here. Too many arguments. So any more than two, any more than one, actually, you'll have that message. One, you'll have that message, but different. So if I do fix, FD, FD, FD. Your target isn't valid. So everything is working. That is good. And yeah, guys, 
you guys would like to see more, make sure to leave a like. Tell me what I should do next. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching.